Hello, Carrie Roberts here, and I want to introduce you to the Attack Powered Chrome extension. But before we start, let's just look at the MITRE ATT&CK framework for a minute. This MITRE ATT&CK matrix lays out the tactics and techniques, tactics across the top, which are categories, and the techniques going down this way. Each cell in this matrix is a different technique. And behind all of these tactics and techniques, MITRE has a large amount of data about groups that are using these tactics and techniques how to mitigate it, how to defend against it, how to collect uh, data about it from various data sources. And we have links across the top. It's a lot of information, so you might find yourself wanting to do a little search to find something in particular. The site does have a search bar here. Let's give it a try. Let's search for regist registry. Oh, if you don't type it right the first time, it starts searching and it's all locked up. It's, it hurts. And even the page goes unresponsive. There, I spelled it wrong. But here we go. Registry. Okay, I found some things, but that took a long time. So, partly inspired by that, I think the Center for Threat Informed Defense developed a Chrome extension for us to use. So here in the next tab, I have that loaded up, the attack powered suite. So I've got that installed. So let's take a look at it. What this extension that I have installed here gives us is one, a way to search MITRE ATT&CK from the uh, browser bar. So I can type in attack and then press tab and it takes us into the search for the powered suite. So here I could type in registry. And then we see this works tons faster. And we can narrow down our search by different parts of the MITRE ATT&CK website. Here we see some techniques that have the word registry. Down here under M, that's a mitigation. So we see the mitigation. Uh, we could turn off mitigations. We also, also have data sources down here. Here's a data source DS. A data source is just a place where we can gather telemetry from an environment. So that includes the Windows registry. There's a list here on the MITRE ATT&CK website, attack.mitre.org, data sources. If you want to see what data sources are, we could turn off data sources. We could choose to include things that have been deprecated. So at one time we're part of MITRE ATT&CK and have now been taken out. We can click here to copy the name of this technique right to our clipboard or to copy the summary. So we could take that to notepad and we paste it in, scroll back up and we see the technique number, the technique and then adversaries may achieve. So it's a quick way to copy this information. Adversaries may achieve and it copies that whole summary for us. We can copy the link to this technique easily or just go to this technique on the MITRE ATT&CK page. So here we're quickly where we wanted to be. Some other cool things we can do. Let's say we're just browsing the web and we're looking at this tool on GitHub called Impacket and we see that it's used for hacking or security testing and we wonder if there's anything in MITRE ATT&CK about Impacket. So we could just select the word Impacket, right click and go to Attack Powered Suite and we could say search attack for Impacket. Now we have the software Impacket. We find that it is in the MITRE ATT&CK website and we can go right to it and we can learn what MITRE has to say about Impacket. Similar thing is true if we see a MITRE technique name or number. Here we have a tweet that talks about technique T1003. We could highlight that, right click, and we can go to the attack part suite and go straight to T1003 in attack. So quickly we're reading about T1003. Other cool things we can do with this extension, we could select a few things that were particularly interested in and maybe we want to show on the MITRE ATT&CK Navigator. So I highlight these three techniques and go over here to the little bookmark icon. Click on that so we have three things bookmarked. I'm going to want to export this MITRE ATT&CK layer but let's give it a color. 
We could give it a score and the note to put on our layer as well. We'll export this. So we have that exported. Now we can bring up the Mitre Attack Navigator here and open an existing layer, upload from local. We'll pick that layer we just downloaded. And when it imports, we see two of the three things we highlighted or bookmark. We zoom out a little. We look around, we don't see our other third technique. We had three techniques here. We had registry run keys and startup folder. If we look really close at some of these techniques, we can see that there's a little number here that says like zero of eight. And what this means is there's eight sub techniques to this main technique. And we can expand that by clicking the gray bar. So here are the eight sub techniques. If we looked really hard, we could see that this boot or log on auto start execution has one, one, it just says one. What does that mean? It means that one of the sub techniques there are annotated and annotated means it either has been assigned a color, a score, a note, a comment, a link, anything that's just not uh, the standard empty technique. So here's that registry run key startup folder that we were looking for. That was kind of hard to look through those tiny numbers to find. So we could use a feature of the MITRE ATT&CK Navigator here. I'm hovering over here. It says expand annotated sub techniques. So if we did that, it would expand only this boot or log on auto start sequence because it knows that one of these are annotated, meaning in this case that it has a color. So that's handy. If you want to learn more about MITRE ATT&CK and how to use this ATT&CK navigator and its nifty tools, join me in my ATT&CK emulation tools course from Anti-Siphon.